Hi, I'm Phoenix Animator. Hi, I'm Froggy Loppy. Well, you're over there. I, I am. Should, I should come and see you. Sounds good. Come on over. You're in your... Ah. Hello, welcome to Phoenix Genetics Industry. Wow. It's a mouthful. I'd say that is. Oh, well, let me close the door. That would be wonderful. So how, how's it going? How's business? Business is good. I'm glad to hear that. So, so, so this is welcome. It, huh? This is where all the magic happens. This huh? is where all the magic happens. Fabulous. All the bee genetic magic. Would you like a tour? Yes, please. All right. Follow me this way. This here is our production floor, where we cool. produce resources. So, we have, over here, we have copper bees, who are working hard and making copper. Oh, making copper nuggets. Yes. Fabulous. We also have some iron bees. Oh, gosh. They're making us iron. Iron nuggets. Cool. We also have some lead bees. Le lead nuggets. Very or good. Also known as plumbum. <laughs> I like their name. Plumbum. 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 And then we have our stanum bees. They're making the tin. Oh, well, we're getting our ores now. Yes, so we are, Fabulous. we're expanding. Um, so these next few apiaries are going to be for gold, silver, platinum, diamonds. Oh. And we have our industrious bee here. He didn't like being inside. He needed sunlight, so we had to make a hole for him. Oh, really? Uh, oh. Currently. Well, we're, we're working on, on working with him to... to be like the rest of them. But right now, ah, be like the rest light, of them. Huh? Yes. Oh. All right. Now, the th pollen. we're also going to be automating, and we're kind of in construction working of that. But is that what this is over here? That is what that is over uh, there. You got your item ducts ready and attached to your aprys. So I take it then the nuggets will come down and come into these chests or something that you'll have there. That is correct. We're going to make some compact drawers and put them there. Compact drawers? Yep. Oh. Unfortunately, I do not have the redstone on me at the moment, so we cannot do that at this, oh. at this time. So we'll proceed with the tour. Okay. Upstairs is our power and Ooh, our genetics. That? Oh, look at all those solar panels up here. You, you, you've swiped most of the solar panels, haven't you? Yep. Mm -hmm. I like the way you say that so easily. Yep. I've also <laughs> swiped most of the redstone energy conduits as well. Oh, yeah, you have. Jeez. <laughs> so, say that so easily. Up here is our mutagen producer. If you stick in some redstone and some, or 10 pieces of redstone, you can then move to the next machine where the reds, the mutagen will be put in right next to the power. Oh, in this empty spot, it'll, it'll fill in the redstone? It'll fill in the mutagen. Where these red light. Oh, it's mutagen. It becomes okay. mutagen once it goes through that machine. Oh, I see. Okay. Then you stick in bees in oh. like this. Oh, I see. Okay. Um, you would stick in a separate bee than the... the. Oh, it's raining on us. You would stick in a separate bee to the rocky, so whatever's compatible with it. So, uh -huh. like, for instance, we'll say use. If you stick it with a valiant, you'll get an ebony bee. Oh, so then all I need to do is put the two bees in there and the labware, and it'll make that new bee. Correct. Fabulous. And we will be back in just a moment. And we're back. All right. Continuing. So we finished that up. The next machine is our genetic sampler. And what you do is you put in a bee in the uh, left side here. You have your blank gene sample. You have your genetic labware. And when you put that bee in, it will get a one of 13 different traits randomly chosen. Whatever the traits that that bee has. Correct. Uh, so it will choose one of them, take it off of it, and put it on one of those gene sample Correct. plates. Exactly. Okay. And then you so take... You might get a good one or you might get a crappy one. Correct. Like one of the ones we got was the uh, Ignores Day Night False. That was one of our worst one of our worst ones we have. Yes. Uh, one, but once you get some good stuff, you go into here. And for Ooh, instance, like we that. have our, from our last video, our template, genetic template of species bovine, ignores day true, oh. flowers is its thing, speed is fast, cave dwelling false, effects none, lifespan short, territory large, humidity tolerance both, fertility of only one, Bleh. flowering fast, that's good, so it makes more flowers around it, 
Tolerant flyer. False means it does not work in the rain. And temperance tolerance of both one. I think that means it works anywhere. So I need to place that on some of the bees that I have out there since we we actually are getting quite a few flowers actually when I look around the area there. If you excuse me for just uh, a moment, I forgot. Well, actually, no, I can take labware from here. Here we go. So we'll take a labware from here, two of okay. them, and we will go ahead and stick in the two labware there. We will okay. stick in one of the Rocky Princesses they gave us for that quest and the Rocky Drone. Okay, now why are you putting in a Rocky Princess and a Rocky Drone? Those were the ones we were given for the Bovine Quest. Okay. And so, by putting in a Princess and a Drone, they both now match up. Correct. Because if you only put a Princess in there, the Drone wouldn't have those traits. Correct. So, we want to do a Princess and a Drone, so both traits would be on there. And then we can pop it in an apiary, and now when they breed, they'll end up having all of those traits placed onto their new drones, right? Correct. Fabulous. Now, the other thing that we want to do is we're going to take out this bovine. Did you happen to get any honey drops? I do. Follow me. Because I have a quest that, I'm, that I want to do. All right. Um, come, come on over. I, in the last episode, popped in all of those wheat, and I popped in something else, too. But anyway, let's uh, let's look in the book, because as soon as I do this, it's going to actually manually detect, and every time I pull something out, you know, we're, look, we're always recording with this manually detect stuff, so I want to yep. actually do this one on camera. Sounds good. With, and that's the, in the... Industrial factory. Yeah, we're in an industrial factory at the Bealizer. With all the honey, you need something to do with that. Why not try to analyze the bees and see what you got? Well, you can't analyze bees without honey drops, can you? Nope. So, I need to get 32 honey drops. So, let's look in my chest here. Oh, my goodness. Oh, look. I have 82. So, let's take 32 of them out. It will manually detect it. Yay. And there we go. It's done. So now we can claim the reward and get a beelizer. Claim reward. Claim reward. Fabulous. And now, uh, while we're here, let's not look at those others. Let's not get distracted. If we slip down here to productivity, uh huh. Let's open that one up, and that is going to ask to take a stack of stringy comb. Oh my! So let's manually submit that. Um, and now it's going to ask for a stack of damp comb. Let's go down here and see what we have. Do we have it? I'm not sure, actually. Oh, I don't we know. don't. Uh-oh. We only have 42 damp cones. So well. We, we can't even complete that quest. It looks like we'll have to do All more right. then. So, yes, indeed. We'll have to put the water bees back on, back on action. That's okay, though, because that, man, that manual detect stuff already did because I just did the stringy cone, so let's go ahead and claim that reward. There's unwary drones and diligent drones. Which one do you want to claim? I'll take the unwary. Okay, I'll take the diligent. Claim reward. It says try to get some stringy cone with some unwary before trying to produce industrious and imperial bees. Because you that's how you produce the industrious and the imperials. Now over here on the other side of the page, it says mundane cone. Go ahead and open that up. Uh-huh. And Ooh. gene sample or gene sample. I'll take the right gene sample. I'll take the left gene sample. Is I wonder if there's a difference. Probably is. Let's find out. But we're going to get the Eldridge. Uh-huh. That's why get I said Get some Ooh. Eldridge bees and get some mundane cone. Claim reward. I can't because my inventory's full. Oh, goodness. Okay, but now, because of doing that, that it opened up some other things, and I'm not even going to open those up and look at them. I'll look at them later, because we keep getting distracted with that. So, you were asking for some honey drops. Yes. So, how many honey, ro honey drops do you need? Uh, let's start with four. I can't move. I keep hitting the wrong buttons. There you go. All right, so if we take a look on my screen here, we go into the Bealizer. 
let's put our four uh, honey drops into the Beanlizer, and we're going to put in our bovine princess. So this shows us that the has a short, fast, short lifespan, fast production speed, fast pollination, flower type fertility one. It shows us everything that those that 13 traits showed us. It also shows us that it makes milky comb as a possible specialty. Oh, we and wheat and comb as its produce production. No mutations. That's good, I think. Um, and the authority Benny Moo. I mean, is it's a, it's a confused bee. He thinks it's a cow. <laughs> um, but what we're gonna do is we don't want it to be a fertility of one. We want a fertility of four. So we're gonna come back up here. Okay. And if I take another quick look here in our realizer at our at our drone, it's also a fertility of one. We don't want that either. Whoops, I threw him at you. You you threw him at me. I have him. You have him. I have him. What shall I do with him? Alright, if you would go ahead and stick him into the genetic imprinter right there for me, please. Genetic imprinter. There we go. And I will put in the queen. And we just let that process for a moment. So now this is going to process with the genetic, I mean, excuse me, the fertility four on it now. Correct. So this means that it will create four drones for us. Four so drones get, for us. So you're going to give me go. the... You're going to give me this guy, right? Correct. So I'm going to stick him in the Beelizer. And now if you look, both the active and inactive states are four times for fertility. There you go. You can now put him in your Beelizer and check it out. Ah, yes, I see. Fertility four. Exactly. Fabulous. Having this Production is going to be wonderful. speed is fast. Pollination speed is fast. That's really good. Definitely. And I will do the same thing with the princess. And a short lifespan is good, actually, because that means that it'll it'll produce faster. And the princess also has a fertility of four. So I will go ahead and escape and throw this to you. Fabulous. And did you look at the gen gene samples that we got from... Um, no. No. I did not. From that quest. Oh, good lord. Fertility 4, Fertility 4, Fertility 4, Fertility 4. That's what you got? That's what I got. I recommend to take the left one if you're playing by yourself. Uh, the ones that I got was all snow. Flowers, snow. Meaning that the bees will produce snow around them instead of flowers. Oh, well, we need snow though. We do. But I would recommend if you don't have a fertility four at this point, take the left one if you're yeah. playing by yourself. Because I took the left one. Correct. Right. No, left. <laughs> yeah, correct. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> I have one last thing that I want to show. Okay. What's that? Okay. So I just wanted to show that one last, this one last thing here. We needed our bread. Well, you yes, mentioned we in the last video it's that we in, were going to do it. It's in the first. So if we grab our 32 pieces of toast. That should trigger it. There we go. Yay! We got diamonds. Yay! We get diamonds and so now, production. So I should take lifespan. Correct. I would say sure. Take lifespan. Or do you want production? Take lifespan. I don't know. Okay. So I'm the thing I really want is the diamonds out of it. Yeah, so. that's for sure. <laughs> Claim reward. Claim reward. Cool. Well, that toast ended, so I guess we have to go the Milky Way with the other one, so. Yeah, so that's actually the only thing left on this side is the, the Milky Comb, which which uh, the bovine should produce for us. Sounds good. So, now, do I get any of these diamonds, or do you, why do we need diamonds so badly? I'm I need so diamonds, because I'm setting something up, and it involves a diamond, so. Setting what up? We'll see it out in, in a future episode. Oh, okay. Alrighty then. That's going to be it for this episode. I'd say so. I think we've got quite a few things going. We do. Alrighty then. we got some more things to set up and more manual. Oh, you know what? We didn't huh. show. What didn't we show? Can we show it real quick? Sure. Over here. Our little automation system that we oh, got Oh, yeah, set up. that. Over here, we want mana. So what we did was, a, I've got 
just a regular Meadows Queen and drone working away in here. So attach a an item duct in the front here, bring it around to the top, and what it'll do is recycle your princess. And if you leave a space in between, in other words, not putting the chest right on top of here, putting another item duct up there, the queen, excuse me, the princess will recycle herself back around, pop herself back into here, along with the drones. Any drones and the that excess match. ends up up here. And look at this. We got tons of them up here. We do. So now when we want some mana, what do we do? We just flip this switch. And what it does is start, if you look at this open crate here, it drops the bees down. The begonias eat up the bees, and voila. We Magic. Have, we have mana coming out. And it's it's centered to where sometimes the one on, the begonia on the left will get it, and sometimes the begonia on the right. Yep. So it ends up being that sometimes it's on this mana pool and sometimes it's on this mana pool. Yep. So we are gathering mana automatically. That's our only automation system, really. Yep. I mean, but there you go. And We're getting there. There's a little bit of manual involved in it, though, because I have to turn the switch on and off. Yeah, because we don't want it to send any princesses through that. Yeah, exactly. So, so we've got that... There was a bunch of them earlier. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. Okay. But that'll do it. That sounds good. I'm Phoenix Animator. And I'm Froggy Luppy. And this has been Be Happy. Thanks a lot, everybody, for watching. Have a great day. See y'all later. Bye. Bye.